hey y'all so i'm back with another hair video what do you know um <laughs> today we'll be collabing with ally pearl hair um they sent me over a 22 inch 613 blonde body wave 13 by 4 frontal um and honestly i didn't have to do much but i found me a new technique on how to make these blonde wigs look so much more natural so what it is is toning your lace as you see i have my t35 toner by wella and i also have a 20 volume developer by wella and to be honest i literally did not do measurements i've just been coloring hair for a while and i kind of just can see it as I go how much I need and what's working and what's not working so but it does have instructions on it so you guys can properly do this the right way without me showing you guys and going by how I did it because I might not have even did it right it just ended up working out how I needed it to and so yeah I got that mixed all up and now I'm applying it to my lace with a pretty heavy hand because um unlike bleach I don't mind if this toner sinks into the roots of the hair a little bit because I kind of like that look I feel like it would really make it look like it's coming out of my scalp and that was the goal for this whole wig I wanted to keep it icy I didn't want to change the color of the hair I definitely toned it because I don't like yellow hair but I really wanted it to look like a real scalp on my head and you guys will see that it did turn out that way but um, like I said, right now I'm just applying it with a heavy hand. I'm actually kind of pushing it into the lace also because I really wanted it to just look natural. And I left it on there about 30 minutes, to be honest. Um, that's how long it says you can leave it on there. But look, you guys, look at how natural it looks. I just thought it looked so much better. I'm like, why didn't I do this before when I did blonde wigs? Because this just made all the difference i swear i don't know maybe it's just me in this clip i can see the big difference but definitely on my head you guys should be able to see the difference so here i'm going to my l'oreal ever pure toning shampoo it's a purple shampoo um i didn't do anything as far as the color of the actual hair other than this i did buy some actual box dye to make it this color but i ended up liking it toned alone and um it just ended up working it's a lot faster than <laughs> than dyeing the hair so i just went a little crazy with the toner i didn't even mind if some of it turned gray or like purplish you know or bluish because i actually i don't know i just like that i like how that looks sometimes so so i'm not too sure why i didn't make sure this was in frame y'all i look a mess don't look at me but i did boldly chop the ends of this the ends weren't dead but they didn't just look how i wanted to make this look look i wanted like a blunt cut like you see how sharp that is i wanted it super blunt I did a few layers in the front and I wanted those to be blunt. I just wanted it to look super polished and perfect, if that makes sense. I didn't really want the messy, you know, little blonde natural look. I wanted it to look like I got a, a fresh haircut on this blonde hair. Because, I don't know, blonde hair already is super damaging, so I don't know. I don't know, I just really wanted it to look polished. So you guys see I twisted the front. Um, I twisted it so that I could get this um, like gradient effect um, 
for my bang area from super short to long as you guys can see um it worked it's like shorter around the frame of my face like towards the top and then as we get lower it got a little bit longer kind of like a gradient effect um but i'm gonna get a little scissor happy in this video i'm gonna cut even more i just really um i just saw this on pinterest really and i just was like oh my god it's so cute so yeah it's really easy y'all So thanks to Aaliyah J, um, I learned this little trick for blonde wigs or bundles um, using the pink lotion, the Luster's pink lotion. Let me tell you, that is a holy grail already. I just never would have thought to put it on my wig because I used that growing up as a little girl all the time. And it really helps with the fluffiness of 613 wigs. I don't understand why they're always so fluffy, but they're so fluffy and it's so hard to get them to just be silky and like bone straight I don't know it could just be me but it really helps I used it section by section after I already blow dried it but I turned up the heat on my blow dryer so I could really like straighten the hair with the blow dryer before I used my hot tool um, and I feel like it made such a difference even just the difference from how it looked blow dried before and then now that I have the pink lotion with a little bit more heat I think it just looked so good and it smoothed everything out like somebody if you would want you could stop here but I definitely wanted it really really flat and really really straight so here I am about to go in with my flat iron um, I feel like it just looks so much healthier now that I have that um, pink lotion on there so shout out to Aaliyah J for the tip I also sprayed some of my turn up the heat before I flat ironed it I feel like that makes any hair looks so much more silky and straight it just it just does wonders
So you guys, in the next few clips, you will see me grow to be a little bit agitated just because I messed up with the company and I told them the wrong size cap and it was literally my fault. And so this wig was actually too small for my head and I don't have a big head, <laughs> but it was actually too small, but I made it work. I pulled and tugged on this thing and I made it work, okay? I made it work. But you'll see, <laughs> look at my face. I'm like, wait a minute, something ain't right. But like I said, I made it work. I pulled and I pulled and I tugged. I kept, I was in panic mode. I kept getting up and down. I didn't know what to do. So I'm like, I've gotten too far. But like I said, we pulled it together and y'all see how it came out in the end. So I added some makeup, obviously, and I did lay me an elastic band, which I don't know why my camera, I, I thought it was recording, but it wasn't. Anyways, I used a little bit of my Gots To Be spray, and I kind of like soaked up the lace a little bit again, laid me an elastic band on there, then I did my makeup. Then when I took the elastic band off, I put on some of my contour shade around the perimeter of the lace. And now it looks like scalp. It's giving scalp. It's giving scalp, okay? It's giving scalp, anyway. <laughs> I'm just kinda reparting my middle part here, going back over um, my edges and the top and throughout the frontal part of this wig to get this just super flat just super flat so yeah I just did some little final touches and um, I did kind of recurl my ends I bumped my ends a little bit to get that um, that look I was going for you see it was so pretty but um yeah other than that I was done y'all and I want to thank y'all for coming back to my channel and watching me create this look with Allie Pearl thank you so much Allie Pearl for sending me over this wig y'all did y'all thing and yeah so you guys just enjoyed the rest of the video I'm pretty much done but yeah thank you so much for coming back see you next time <laughs>